On this segment of Stang TV, we're going to take a trip to Hellion Power Systems to cover the installation of a Hellion turbocharger kit on a 2010 Ford Mustang. Founded by legendary Mustang racer John Urest and longtime friend Dwayne James, we're going to show you how Hellion engineered their S197 system for easy installation, great drivability, and incredible performance. Finally, we'll show you the proof by dyno testing and driving our new Mustang with over 440 rear wheel horsepower. Our goal in developing a turbo system originally was to solve the problems that the turbo companies in the past had before. They had fit and finish problems, they didn't send any instructions, they sent a box of bolts and a bunch of pipes, and there was no customer support, nobody answered the phone. And that's what we did, we solved all of those problems. Here's an example, a 2010 Mustang GT system, which we sent with a 61 millimeter Turbonetics Turbo, stainless steel piping, everything fits, and it comes with detailed instructions for the installation. Hellion's kit fits Mustangs from 2005 to 2010. As you can see, the kit starts with a Turbonetic 61mm turbocharger. Hellion air-to-air -air intercooler includes all stainless steel, mandrel bent piping, and installs with retaining all the factory accessories and smog equipment. Also included are 39-pound fuel injectors, air filter, brackets, complete hardware, and detailed instructions. The best part is that this kit is capable of making up to 700 rear wheel horsepower and even up to 800 rear wheel horsepower with available upgrades. We're about 30% of the way through the install. We have the turbo mounted, the intercooler, all the charge piping associated with it. We've installed the hot side from the manifolds up to the turbo. This version of the system retains the factory catalytic converters in the factory location. We have another version of the kit which deletes the factory cats, connects from the manifolds directly to the hot side pipe. This side of the kit is done. We're going to continue on to finish up the underside by connecting the down pipe to the tailpipes. We're almost done with our 2010 GT installation. We've got our charge pipe, charge pipes installed, turbo support bracket, 61 millimeter Turbonetics turbo. Now all we have to do is install our four inch air inlet with Canon air filter and bypass valve, connect the vacuum from the bypass valve to the intake and we'll almost be done. Here's our 2010 GT with 61 millimeter Turbonetics turbo, all stainless piping installed on our stock 2010 Mustang with the availability of keeping the factory catalytic converters in place or moving them either way with a fully option system and that's what we have here. We took the Mustang to Motiva Motorsports in Albuquerque, New Mexico. After strapping the car down, we began the process of tuning it for the Hellion kit. Using SCT Advantage software and an XCal 3 tuner, we began optimizing the air-fuel ratio and timing curves. So after our first full dyno pass, uh, we ended up at 414 horsepower and 444 foot-pounds of torque, which is pretty good. The air-fuel ratio was rich in the, in the mid-10s and not a lot of timing in it. So after getting the tune-up finished up on it, uh, we gained 30 horsepower and 30 foot-pounds of torque, ending at 449 and uh, 474 foot-pounds of torque. With a mid-11s air-fuel ratio, still pretty conservative on the timing. Those are good dyno numbers, but uh, now it's time for the real fun. Let's get this thing out in the street. In the early days, Mustang turbo kits were far from easy to install or reliable. Hellion has brought that 360 degrees. We've added over 150 rear wheel horsepower in only two days and have a completely drivable, reliable, and powerful 2010 Mustang that can put you back in the seat with over 500 horsepower or idle in traffic all day. That is what we call ultimate street performance.